my lovely darlings. Today we're going to talk about Ida van Musten and one of you actually um, left me a comment that she's really great and um, her style is really great so I decided that well why not to talk about her then and um, she's um, her name is actually Ida Dapo and she's known by, by Ida van Moonster and she's a Bosnian a blogger, model and makeup artist and we're actually going to talk about her style because she has this kind of more vintage style but it is um, really beautiful, she has quite modest style so it's not um, very like in your face if we compare her to uh, to Dita then you can see Dita have more like sex appeal like sexy style but Ida I think it's more about vintage but without bringing too much attention to yourself when it comes to this kind of sex um, side of it so it's going to be really interesting to talk about her today when it comes to her style it is not only that she is like 1950s and that's it no she has this kind of vintage style that it comes through like um, comes and goes through different periods so you can sometimes see the outfits and hairstyle let's say that they are a more like um taking inspiration from 1920s or sometimes from 1950s so it is basically from 1920s to 1950s 60s this is like her style that is combination of those periods but i feel like she has such a beautiful outfit that it is going to be worth it to talk about her I actually didn't know about her before so as I said one of you dropped me a comment and then I was doing started doing research about her and I feel like it's such a great actually thing that you can give me a comment and I can like find someone that I never heard about before because obviously it's, you know the world is big you know there's lots of people in the world that and if you know someone you would like to see the video then please leave me a comment because I really listen to you um, so anyway, I'm going to show you 10 outfits that I really like. She has so such a beautiful Instagram account that I think it's worth it to you to follow if you are um, if you like this kind of uh, pictures of this kind of vintage style. Um, I'm going to leave the link to her Instagram uh, underneath this video in the description so you can um, just click over there and go directly to her Instagram. So yeah, 10 outfits today um, and I hope you're going to enjoy those. First outfit, we're going to just jump straight into. First outfit, it is this kind of like, you can straight away see it's vintage because of her hairstyle, lipstick. When it comes to as well makeup, I wanted to mention, when you want to have this kind of more like a vintage style, when it comes to makeup, you there's few things you need to remember. Like the most often you're going to put some kind of stronger color of your lips. You're going to do quite strong um, uh, eyebrows and you're going to as well put black most of the time black eyeliner and those are going to create this kind of more vintage look when it comes to her hair you can see there is this kind of like a um like a hair on her face on her hair uh, apart from that obviously she's wearing hat and you can see that she is very often wearing hats she has lots of pictures uh, wearing some kind of vintage um style this kind of retro hat and I think that adds to you as well a lot when you're wearing hats with this kind of like a different period um, it just gives you this kind of more vintage look I think it's really really good idea to add the hats and obviously her bags you can see they are not going to be this kind of normal bags that you can buy now in Fendi's or something like this she is going to put more attention to those kind of small details to her shoes shoes are going to have more rounded um, tops like heels going to have more rounded um tops you're going to see that like the um the front of of the heels and those are very like retro and as well the bags they're going to have um lots of like a retro bags and which is really lovely and when it comes to this first outfit the dress it's all like brownish this kind of um beige brownish i would say more brownish color um which contrasts with her skin very well, I would say. It is all in, in in the same tone. She has very like pale skin, and you can see that many often time when there is a girl that she is white and she um, is looking for this kind of more retro look. Look, they trying to avoid um, contact with sun. Even Dita, she said um, in some kind of um, magazine and some kind of like an article that um, she is living in California and it's very hard for her to avoid the sun and she really need to put a lot of SPF on her face to keep this kind of very fair 
type skin, you know. And I can see the same is happening here that uh, Ida is doing um, similar thing that um, obviously in California there's more sun than in Bosnia, but she is traveling, traveling a lot. You can see her Instagram, she's everywhere, like everywhere. It is actually quite lovely to see that because apart from that, that she's traveling, she's putting this kind of retro outfit, which is, which is lovely. Honestly, it's really lovely. And um, on this first actually outfit, you can see her skin is very, very pale. So it is obviously, this is quite hard to do it, you know, especially when you're traveling, you always catch some kind of suntan and um, ladies who actually promote this kind of retro style, they try to avoid that. Obviously, if you have a darker skin, then, you know, there's so much you can do, right? But uh, when it comes to ladies that have this kind of like a fair skin, then they trying to avoid um, tanning. Um, the second outfit, it is um, a dress, there's going to be only dresses. She has some kind of outfits with trousers, but most of the time you can see her dresses, skirts. Um, this one, what I really like about it is that um, has this kind of darker color. I like her luggage as well uh, here, and you can see the shoes, that they are this kind of type of retro shoes more. And again, she's doing something with her hair that it gives you this kind of more retro type of uh, look. I like this outfit because the dress doesn't, it's not really something that is very hard to buy. You can actually find a dress like this even in normal shop. You can find a dress like this in a normal shop. You don't necessarily need to go to some kind of retro shop, which is quite nice because you can just see that you can use a normal piece of the garment and create this kind of vintage um, retro look, which is lovely, which is lo really lovely. Next one, I think it's a dress that it is actually quite more retro looking just because of the cut of the, um, maybe not just because, but the cut of the, oh god, my nose, <laughs> the cut of the, um, like, neck is beautiful, this kind of sharp, um, but it's not showing too much, which is, which is, um, the dress is, is quite modest. Her dresses, I think I would say, they are modest. She's, like I said, she doesn't show too much. Um, she obviously put an accent on her waist, she has beautiful silhouette, um, but she doesn't really need to show too much if you know what i mean she can just put accent on her body and she's going to look absolutely stunning with this dress as well you can see that she is wearing again hat that gives you this kind of more vintage look she has a hat that actually has this kind of ribbon or like it's holding her underneath which is very retro and um, when it comes to shoes you can see that the shoes are very like high heels but um most like our time shoes i would say um however when you have like this cut um of your finger on the toe um, I think this is like, quite help you to achieve this kind of retro look as well. Um, lovely color. I would love to have it just in this kind of color. Um, obviously with this kind of dress, rounded dress on a circle, it's absolutely beautiful, very 50s. And what can I say? It's just, she looks absolutely stunning here. And this kind of hat with bl black elements gives you nice um, contrast as well. Next outfit, very like a summery, uh, very great for a um, holiday. It's a um, longer, little bit longer dress, loose, this kind of loose material that is breathable, beautiful, big, uh, but good structure hat. So it's not this kind of floppy hat, it's just quite a big hat, but it has a really good um, structure. Back in the same type of um, like a rattan style, like the hat. Um, and again, you can see the lips are darker red, so this kind of like a vintage um, look to it, this kind of vintage accent. Um, shoes, she's wearing some kind of like, um, some kind of uh, sandals, but overall looks really, really good. And it still have this kind of retro style, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's great for travel. As you can see, she has the sandals that has a, li has a little bit a uh, thicker um, heel, so it's a flat sandals but have a thick, thick um, underneath, which is really good good for traveling because you know you're walking quite a lot, you're visiting a lot of things, you want to see some kind of museums, you basically walk a lot. So uh, having sandals that have a little bit thicker heel, it is just um, going to be much better and much you're going to feel much more comfortable. Those kind of very thin sandals, I said that before, they good for the beach, they good for some kind of maybe pool but not necessary when you're actually going to discover all the city or something like this. Next outfit, it's lovely pink dress, very like retro. I think she was wearing that in Cuba actually. 
um, you can see the cars and um, shoes, some kind of sandals, really, really lovely. And she looks absolutely great here. I love, I love this outfit. There's another picture when she's driving um, a car and she has kind of like a um, scarf on, on her and it looks absolutely great, you know? I, I really, really love this outfit and I love that she's wearing a um, pink dress, um, pink element, and on top of that, she's wearing a dr driving a pink car. <laughs> Next one, it's a red dress with this kind of black element, very like dramatic. If you're looking for some kind of dramatic look, then red and black, it's always going to give you extra drama. And um, this kind of voil, 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 I think you, that's how you call it, um, that cover a little bit her um, forehead. It's very, very dramatic. And I love that about her, that she is um, giving us this kind of outfits. Not everybody is confident to wear like this. You, like it's not only about you like the style, you need to have a confidence to actually show the world that you don't care what they think, you're going to dress what you like. And she liked this kind of period um, and she liked this kind of retro style and she's doing that, you know. And obviously she is having a quite a big follower, um, followers on Instagram, you can see. Um, her, all her posts, most of the posts I would say are in English so it is as well nice to follow her because you can actually read what she's saying there um, I have a lot of like followers from Russia that um, they typing, you know, they, they writing in Russian and you know, you have this picture, nice pictures but you have no idea what the person is saying but she is actually putting this effort and she's making everything in English which is great uh, she has obviously black uh, gloves, which um, gives you this kind of, uh, again, a retro look even more and very, very chic and very elegant. You know, those hair outfits are very, very elegant and obviously she has this kind of vintage um, look, but uh, very classic, I would say, very classic and she's a really lovely woman. Next one is all pink, all this kind of blush pink from shoes to her head. You can see everything pink apart from obviously glasses, but bag, dress, lovely lace dress, which is really, um, looks really expensive and um, it is really, really lovely outfit. Um, you can see the details like shoes. Um, I think she's wearing some kind of yeah, Louboutin shoes because obviously they have a red um, sole. Um, it's lovely, you know, it's really lovely. It's a very type of um, color of her skin as well. It looks, everything looks very neat because um, shoes looks like her skin. Uh, all this kind of like a blush pink, it is very like hair skin color. You can see that, that this is like lovely outfit. Only contrast is the hair, but obviously she's covering the hair a little bit with her scarf, which um, I, I, I just really love this outfit. I think the covering actually the um, hair actually give you this kind of even more retro look. If she wouldn't dress, if she wouldn't have that, obviously she could still create some kind of hairstyle that it is um, very, very vintage, but I, I, like, I actually like that she's covering her hair here. Next outfit, and you can see again, there is a hat, obviously, there is this kind of like a um, little transparent um, thing on the hat and very, very 50s and 60s look. Um, again, very like a vintage bag, which is really lovely. Um, she is a lovely woman. Honestly, she's such a lovely woman. It's such a pleasure to actually talk about her because every outfit she's wearing is absolutely great. There's no outfit. She doesn't have an outfit that doesn't look stunning. She is having this kind of modest rather than very sexy, which very often in this kind of vintage retro style, you can see that there's more like push for the sexy. Um, but in this situation, she's actually very modest, I would say. It's, it's lovely and refreshing to actually see her and, and see her outfits next one this is our nine so it's we almost on at the end it's a red coat and i want to talk about this one because i really love the little brooch um, on her um, coat and i made a video about brooches so if you want to um, see how to uh, attach and how to wear brooch you can and um, you're going to see this video after this video so you can just jump over there um, I love that. I love this little um, snowflake on her coat. It just, without it, it wouldn't be so great. Like, this is such a small thing and give, give you so much, you know. Um, and again, you can see the makeup here as well because it's a picture from quite close. Um, so you can see the lips, the um, eye, like a cut eye, I would say. And again, beautiful eyebrow. Um, it's very clean makeup, I would say. It's very, very clean. It doesn't have a lot of, I would say, contouring. It is more about showing this kind of fair skin. 
Um, next outfit, this is our last one. It's a, it is again a dress and it is this, this kind of flowery dress um, that um, she's wearing. Obviously this lovely hat. I don't know where she's finding those hats, but it is really, really lovely hat. Um, again, more vintage dress, some kind of sandals, very like a nice outfit to the garden if you're going for picnic. Um, it is really, really lovely. Um, flowery dress, you know, not everybody is a fan of the flowers, but um, it looks, she looks really, really chic here. And what we should take from her style that you can look very nice retro, um, still very, very modest and um, still showing a lot of, lot of class. And that's what I like about her. She has beautiful outfits. As I said before, um, I'm going to put a link on her Instagram below so you can see all her basically pictures. She has stunning pictures, stunning Instagram. So I highly recommend you to go there and have a look on yourself. There's lots of, lots of beautiful um, retro looks. I need to really finish because my boy, my boy is already really asking me for some attention. Yes, yes, we need to do something together. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next one.